Armenian genocide remains a taboo subject in Turkey, but a familiar one, we tend to forget the 1955 Istanbul riots, a program directed against the city's Greek minority and a dark chapter in this country's history. Today, a new film focuses on this tragic episode, shedding light on an event shrouded in silence and often absent from school history books. Pain of Autumn, that's the title of the film, is a critical success, even if some facts are still up for debate. Jasper Mortimer and Louise Dupont report from Ankara. September the 6th, 1955. Muslim Turks turn on their Greek citizens, ransacking their shops in Istanbul. After decades of silence, a film has been made, The Pain of Autumn. Director Tomris Giritlioglu says Turks have to confront what they did. I believe that the past is the future. If we can't question our past, face up to our past, we won't be able to build the future in the right way. She is Greek Orthodox, he is Muslim. Both are Turks. This is the third film Girit Oylu has made about Turkey's relations with its Greek, Armenian and Jewish minorities. What interests me is not the issue of minorities, but how a member of a minority feels. The chant is, Greeks out, Cyprus is Turkish. But what the demonstrators ignore is that there are Greeks in Istanbul. The film focuses not on the political side of events, but the emotional side. People trying to maintain relationships as nationalistic pressures mount. In this scene, a woman confronts her father with the evidence he has killed a man in the name of state interests. One survivor of 1955 is Michal Vassiliadis, now the editor of a local Greek newspaper. France 24 introduced him to Girit Oilu, and they walked down the street where it all happened. I was very upset by the film, not because of what I saw on the screen, but because it made me relive those events. There are things you can criticize in the film, that's by the way. But just the fact that this subject is dealt with, albeit not completely, and in the context of a love story, that's very significant. The film has drawn bigger audiences than expected. This cinema in Ankara extended its run by two weeks. The story is told in a one-sided way, all about the suffering of the Greeks. What the Turks went through should not be overlooked. You want beautiful things to be in your history. If Turkish history is something like this, it's awful. It made me cry. The well-known columnist Hadi Uluengin says the film has put the spotlight on 1955. <laughs> It was a pogrom. Not many people were killed, but it was a pogrom nonetheless. I think we must always draw the lessons of history and face the past. If we don't, we won't know what's coming, because the ghosts of the past will always be around. What's extraordinary is that there was a taboo about 1955, and this taboo has now been broken. And the movie will hit German screens very soon.